Good morning, it's Tuesday morning and I missed you guys so I just wanted to vlog today. I just finished getting ready. I never do my hair like this for work. Oh, my coffee is done. Never do my hair like this for work but it has been so humid and muggy out so I just kind of wanted my hair out of my face and also just in a hairstyle that it won't frizz because I figured there's no use in like curling it or doing anything to it because it's just gonna end up like flat and gross anyways so i thought i would just quickly show you my outfit i'm a little bit more casual than normal so um it's really hot today <laughs> so i'm wearing this dress from uh, h m it's just a cotton dress it goes to just like above the knee and then i have this little over thing over it and this is from m and then to match i have these shoes that i'm gonna wear they're kind of a similar color to my little cardigan um, and these are from Globo. I got a really good deal on them. They are by the brand K Studio and they're really comfortable. Although they have like quite a bit of a heel, they're really, really comfortable. And then for jewelry, I have my usual jewelry on. So my Michael Kors watch, um, my smaller Pandora bracelet, the one that just has a few charms on it, my silver stud earrings. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys my uh, coffee thermos before, but it is a little camera lens. So cute. I'll put a link to one down below. I got this online, like on Amazon or something. Also, note to self, I need more milk when I come home today. And yes, I drink my coffee with a straw. I find it's more convenient to like sip on it from a straw while I'm on the go because I drink this like en route to work. And then also it helps like not stain your teeth as much. But I'm looking for a non-plastic alternative, something that will fit into my mugs because I find found some glass straws on Amazon but they don't fit into the mugs that I have which is a problem. So I'm just heading to work now and I will update you guys later but I just wanted to chit chat. Um, I was listening to some podcasts this morning feeling really motivated um, for work. I went to the Tribal Scale Takeover Conference. It's a tech conference that happens in Toronto. Uh, I went to it last week and then they do a podcast um, and they had takeover talks, so I was listening to the last one, and it was with Rachel Wicketts. I, I think that's her last name, but on Twitter, she's Rachel Weck. She was the one, she's their director of marketing, and she's the one that planned their conference, and in my job, I do, like, a very similar role to that, so I just really loved hearing her interview and talk, or, like, listening to her talk about, like, the behind the scenes of what goes into the conference, because I've done a lot of events for, um, for work, and, like, yeah, they're not easy to put on, uh, but I really like how they really like made everything come full circle with doing like these takeover talks as well um, to talk about the behind the scenes of the conference or interview different guest speakers that they had so it wasn't just the event on the day but they had so many different marketing initiatives leading up to it and then also um, afterwards to like wind down from the event and recap it so really making the most of the opportunity um, and not just like doing a conference and that's it right so i don't know these are the things that excite me and like the different i don't know i just have like a marketing brain and i'm such a nerd and i love these things and then i also was recommended to listen to the skim podcast so i started listening to that as well and then i have an audible subscription so i listen to audiobooks on my way to work um the one that i am reading right now i have the physical book because someone gave it to me at work and it's called that's what she said uh, what Men me Need to Know and Women Need to Tell Them About Working Together by Joanne Lippman. So I am currently listening to that as well as like reading the physical book. So that's what I'm going to listen to now on my way to work. Um, those are just some things I've been loving lately. I just like kind of miss you and want to catch up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to work now. Really quickly, this is my finished outfit with my shoes. I just put them on. And my backpack, it's still my Matt and Nat backpack that I've been using lately for work because it's so much more convenient to carry a backpack <laughs> and it fits all my stuff nicely. I just came home from work to this package in the mail. I already opened it up, but this package here is from Timex and they sent me a new watch from their spring collection. It is so pretty and it is just my color. It matches my nails and everything. It is so pretty. I really like the detail of the face. Everything that I have is like very classic so this is like funky and fun um and also it has gold details which i don't have very many things with gold so i love this so cute thank you so much timex for sending me this i don't know what to make for dinner tonight 
Um, I'm hungry, but I don't know what to eat. I need to go to the grocery store and get milk. I am tempted to just buy grocery store sushi, even though it's not that great, but that's what I would feel like eating. We'll see, maybe I'll make something. But I wanted to tell you that I had a really great day at work today. There was an article written about me from our, com our in internal communications team. They do something similar to um, like people, or Humans of New York, I think is the um, blog, but they do something very similar to that for our internal employees. So it's a huge organization that I work for. And they wrote an article on me. It was like we did a phone interview and then they wrote an article on me. And this was back in like February. So it's finally published today. And I got a ton of emails, messages, and like comments on it from like all great people. And I just felt like a star. <laughs> and it was so great. Oh, it was so much fun. And um, part of the article was uh, like a little bit of a feature for my YouTube channel. So that was really awesome. Oh, that was so fun. And like, it was kind of like my two worlds colliding, my work life and my YouTube life. And like there was someone that commented and was like, oh, my daughter watches you on YouTube. So <laughs> that was so much fun. And today was just a good day. We did a lot of preparation because tomorrow we are running like an internal conference event. So that's going to be a lot of work. I stayed really late. It's like eight o'clock right now because I stayed a little bit later. I'm really lucky that I don't work super long hours. Um, I work pretty pretty average hours like 9 to 5 like 5 30 ish I'm like out the door already and I don't really take work home with me which is awesome so pretty lucky that way and that's why I'm still able to um keep up with my stuff here on YouTube which I love and I would never stop um and that's why I think this is like the perfect job for me and I'm feeling really grateful today so I just wanted to vlog that and like I'm laying on the couch talking to you. So another thing that I've been thinking about lately is how I just want to be more me and I'm such a perfectionist and I know I talked about this in another vlog but I feel like I never vlog because I need all the elements to be perfect. I need to have good lighting, I need to be in a good mood, I need to have something to talk about, I need to have a clean apartment which I'll do a pan right now it's not clean right now <laughs> here we go yeah not clean <laughs> which is something I need to do tonight but yeah I need to like just get over myself because then I'm never gonna upload because life is not perfect and that's what I want to stand for I want to stand for being real and showing you who I truly am this is me, love me or hate me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm working on being more me. And trying to beat my perfectionism. Still thinking about what I should eat for dinner though. I came up to the rooftop pool to do a little bit of reading tonight and watch the sunset. I like to do this sometimes. There's also a hot tub over there, which sometimes I'll go in, but today's a little bit cold. Really funny there's a sign right behind me that says no photography <laughs> what about vlogging is that okay <laughs> it is after work and I just came home and I tidied up my apartment a little bit and I'm meeting my mom and my grandmother for dinner at my uncle's new restaurant called Julieta it is on College Street West I've never been there before so we're going to try it out none are actually no, I think my mom has been there, but me and my grandmother have never been there. So we're gonna go and check it out. And I'm really excited to, to have like a little girls night with them. It will be really cute. And to try out his new restaurant. This is my outfit of the day. I am actually remembering to put sunglasses on. These are from Forever 21. I always walk out of the door without putting sunglasses on. Um, some loose curls that I had from work. This is a really cute top that I just got from Zara recently. Really like the collar. This would look really cute if I had my hair up in a bun or something. Um, and it's just like a loose textured top. It looks really cute if you tie it as well. And then I got these pants. These are from RW & Co. They're just gray and then black flats because they're comfy and I'm going to be walking a little bit. And then my trench coat for when it gets darker later and cold. <laughs> Bye, baby girl. Love you. 
Bye, Nana. Bye, Rich. Bye. <laughs> Good night. Have Good a night. nice night. Thank you for company. Oh, thanks for coming out. <laughs> I just got home and I'm just so happy to have spent this evening with my family um, at my uncle's restaurant and then um, my other cousin was there and it was just like all his staff are so nice there and everyone is just like family so really appreciating my family tonight and I had a really nice time. It's so good there. <laughs> Ever since my uncle has been in the restaurant industry, it has really made me appreciate like really good food. Just very grateful for my family tonight. I would like to spread more positivity in my videos. So in a comment below, let me know three things that you are grateful for. Today, I am grateful for family. I am grateful for sunny weather. It was so beautiful today. And I am grateful for my job because because today I had a really good day at work. I don't know, I've been dealing with a lot of stress lately, so today was just really good and really productive, so I'm very grateful for that. That is three things, so let me know your three things in a comment below. I will read them, I will reply to them, uh, and also I just want it to be a place for positivity. So thank you guys for coming along with me today, and as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. Turn on the little notification bell um, over there if you would like to get notifications every time I upload so you don't miss them, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!